Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Tevis Leaf Glover, and today we have another Canon of Design quick tips. And this one, we're going to be taking a look at Annie Leibowitz, this pretty epic haunting image of birds flying after these people. It reminds me of the movie Birds, if you've seen the Hitchcock movie. So the purpose of these videos is to introduce you to these techniques, keep your skills sharp, and help me change the future of art. So let's get right into it. Let's take a look at the grid she's using. It's got the 1.5 major area divisions here, and we can see how she's locking in the bird here. Her arm is locking in here, paralleling right here, this Baroque diagonal. The hand is locking in here. The distant mountains are locking in here. And she's got this guy locking in. We added a line here. The intersection point is called an eye. So if you run a line straight up and down, you can use that intersection point and you'll be adhering to the geometry within this rectangle here. So that's why you, you use added lines. I would try and work with the grid that you're presented with first. And then if you need more lines, more diagonals, then configure it as you need. We can also see how this is definitely a composite. Whoever's compositing this was using the grid to help plot these birds as well. You can see how it's paralleling this broke diagonal here, this bird here. This one's locking in here with the same diagonal. That's the sinister reciprocal diagonal. This one's paralleling over here. That's the sinister reciprocal diagonal. Okay, so he's using the grid to help organize the composition and plot out these different elements within the composition. And one important technique that I've been failing to point out because most of these masters use it every time, but it's figure ground relationship. So that's when the foreground and the background fit nicely together like a puzzle piece and you don't have conflicting contrast around the subject. So she's got a nice blank background here. So it allows this character to be separated from the background and we can easily identify him. So even this aerial perspective in the background helps us control the contrast around him so he's popped out in the foreground and not blending in with the background. It's a very important technique and I should mention it pretty much every time we cover these, but also this, they're not placing birds right behind her head, which normally if this was an actual scene, you wouldn't have perfectly placed birds, but they've organized this composition to have great figure ground relationships so you can easily identify this bird. See, there's no birds behind this one. Basically run an imaginary line around the subject and look for conflicting contrasting areas so here's aerial perspective helping us plus the light figure on the dark background also sticks out and then you can see it fading a little bit here so if you squint your eyes this actually fades quite a bit which is fine it adds to the depth but the most important parts of each of these subjects is clearly defined against the background because of figure ground relationship always keep that one in mind so the next technique is gamut and those diagonals are derived from this 1.5 dynamic symmetry grid but you can see how they're repeating the diagonals within the the birds the arms the gown you can see this line coming down here this is the reciprocal sinister diagonal it's found in the wing it's found in her side here it's found in the gown here right here this big ripple of the dress it's in the wings up here her arm here is paralleling there so that's the gamut that's the law of similarity at work that's a gestalt psychology principle as well it's a hidden rhythm and it creates unity okay we've got this arabesque coming across you can see how it's curving down the bird and then her arms are specifically placed to create this arabesque and this gown is flowing creating that nice movement and unity around there. Also got it coming around her head. And you can see how her arm is curved. So this down here, and then her arms curving up, and then the dress. The thing she's got around her neck, the fur shawl or whatever, it's coming around here and creating this sweeping arc crossed. Okay, so that's the arabesques. Nice unity and movement right there. Okay, and then the last one we mentioned is aerial perspective, which helps create that depth and atmosphere. And she's using it to pop these subjects off of the background and create depth within these birds as well. If you were compositing this, you wouldn't want all the birds the same black color, same dark color. You'd wanna, she's got them blurred out, she's got them faded into the background, which helps create that depth within the atmosphere. So that's Annie Leibowitz, and if you guys have a master that you'd want me to look at, leave a comment in the section below, and I'll get to that as soon as I can. But thanks so much for the support, and I'll see you in the next one.